Who's got the first song? All right, we'll get, and then and then one eighty one. So we'll we'll start with three fifty eight in the celebration hymnal. Three fifty eight in the celebration hymnal. Oh my. I don't know if y'all could hear that or not. Somebody said, that comes after 357. <laughs> Rough. God sent his son, they called him Jesus, he came to love, heal and forgive, he lived and died, to buy my pardon, and grave is there to prove my Savior lives because he lives I can face tomorrow because he lives all fear is gone because I know Because he lives How sweet to hold A newborn baby And feel the pride And joy he gives But greater still Calm assurance This child can face Uncertain days Because he lives Because he lives I can face tomorrow Because he Holds the 
Paul says, if this is it, we're in a sad state of affairs. But because he lives, amen, we have a hope. Praise God. Somebody said number 188. Which book? Five seventy two. It's in the same book that we was in. Five seventy two. Five seventy two? Did you say five seventy two? Somebody said one eighty eight. Who said one eighty eight? Oh, you're trying to help me out, but you confused me. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Hey, try it. In order to be the same for all of us. Page 352. 572. 572. 572. Blessed assurance. 572. Blessed assurance. Jesus is mine. Oh, what a fall. Sing it if you sing it. Yeah. Perfect submission. Perfect delight. Think about it now. Visions of rapture. On my side, angels descending, bring from above echoes of mercy, whispers of love. This is my story. Drive down a spike right there. This is my song. Praising my Savior all the day long. This is my story. This is my song. Praising my about y'all but sometimes through the day I just can't help myself I can I, I start looking around and I just start praising or I just start singing sometimes just riding down the road and I just start looking at, at the beautiful the creation all around me and I say Lord I sure do thank you I thank you for that sunrise Lord I thank you for these stars that I'm looking at tonight Lord I thank you for that bright moon I thank you for that rainbow hmm God's good. 
Let's sing that third verse. Perfect submission. All is at rest. Think about what she's singing. I am my Savior. Am happy and blessed. It's because you got a relationship. Amen. Watching and waiting. Looking above. Filled with His goodness. And lost in His love. One more, I think. 518. All right. Kira, I'll get yours another time, okay? 518. Five eighteen. Did you say five eighteen? Okay, five eighteen. All my life long I had panted For a drink from some cool spring That I hoped would quench the burning Of the thirst I felt within Hallelujah, I have found Him Whom my soul so long has craved Jesus satisfies my longings Through His blood I now am saved Feeding on the husk around me Till my strength was almost gone Long my soul for something better Only still to hunger on Hallelujah I have found him whom my soul so long has craved. Jesus satisfies my longings. Through his blood I now am saved. Poor I was and sought for riches, something that would satisfy. But the dust I gathered round me Only mocked my soul's sad cry Hallelujah, I have found Him Whom my soul so long has craved Jesus satisfies my longings Through His blood I now am saved Well of water ever springing bread of life so rich and free untold wealth that never faileth my redeemer is to me hallelujah I have found him whom my soul so long has craved Jesus satisfies my Lord I now am saved. Hallelujah. Let's stand and greet our neighbor tonight.
We're going to go ahead and do Kira's request. Yeah. Yeah. Number 517. Number 517. In the celebration hymnal, number 517. I will sing of my Redeemer. Yeah. I will sing of my Redeemer and his wondrous love to me. On the cruel cross he suffered, from the curse to set me free. Sing, oh sing of my Redeemer, with his blood he purchased me. On the cross he sealed my pardon, paid the debt and made me free. I will tell the wondrous story, how my lost estate to save. In his boundless love and mercy, he the ransom freely gave. Sing, oh sing, of my Redeemer, with his blood he purchased me. On the cross he sealed my pardon, paid the debt and made me free. I will praise my dear Redeemer, his triumphant power I'll tell How the victory he giveth Over sin and death and hell Sing, oh sing of my Redeemer With his blood he purchased me On the cross he sealed my pardon Made the dead made me free. I will sing of my Redeemer and his heavenly love to me. He from death to life hath brought me, Son of God, with him to be. Sing, oh sing of my Redeemer with his blood purchased me on the cross he sealed my pardon paid the debt and made me free I'll tell you what tonight if you'd been given an endless prison sentence no hope of ever getting yeah, out yeah. and somebody come along and said I'm going to pay and get them out yeah. wouldn't you rejoice yeah. it says he's paid the debt and said Praise God. Amen. 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 Praise Amen. God. Yes, sir. <laughs> Amen. I've enjoyed the song service. I've enjoyed the testimonies. And man, I thank you, church, for just allowing the Lord to touch you. Or you want to brag on him. Man, I like that. I know you do, Brother Chris. I'm glad we have prayed. He got to go. He got to go see his family on his birthday. Amen. So, I, all y'all that prayed, you ought to be happy. Yeah, he is. Anyway, I need my ushers to come forward, and we'll take up our Sunday night offering. Brother Aiden, go ahead and pray. Yeah, help us to rejoice. Amen.
wife said, can me and Miss Carol sing a song? I said, all day long. <laughs> Amen. Amen. I'm telling you, anytime somebody wants to do for, something for the Lord, I like them to do it. That's right. Amen. That's right. I'm following She might know ever some happy day. person I ever got to like be there and kind of like lead them and kind of you know show them verses and everything and uh, it's a it's definitely a different type of feeling it's almost 
it's almost as joyful as getting saved yes, exactly because right. because yeah, you exactly right. it's almost like you're right there with them and dylan dylan, dylan even said it he's like I, he's like when i was praying he's like i felt like you was right there next to me i was like man i felt like i was right there next to you too because <laughs> i mean it was awesome and by the time he got them praying i asked him i was like dylan are you saved he goes yes i said do you know for a fact he goes i know for a hundred percent of fact i was like oh my goodness so i went home i told my mom and everything and i told my dad and then i called tim and tim was like it was just amazing i mean it's almost it's literally like you when you get saved like you know when you want to tell everybody it's the same thing you just want to tell everybody it's awesome but yeah amen let me pull up these lyrics i done forgot them
there have been times I've walked away from the Lord. My sins were many, my heart grew cold. Fellowship was broken, I felt so all alone. Oh, but it didn't matter how far I'd gone. God still was faithful when I came back home. My sins were forgiven and grace to me was shown. Now I stand here before you tonight, rejoicing everything's all right. Cause in my heart, I know that I am saved. Oh, and how I long to do God's will. Yes, I know I will fail him still, but I'm so glad his grace never will. And I thank the Lord for the glory night when the blessed Holy Ghost led me to the light at the altar where I prayed Jesus washed my sins away and oh how sweet is the sound I once was lost but now I'm found God's amazing grace still amazes me Now I stand here before you tonight, rejoicing everything's all right, cause in my heart I know that I am saved, oh, and how I long to do God's will. Yes, I know I will fail Him still, but I'm so glad His grace never will, and I thank the Lord for the glory night when the blessed Holy Ghost led me to the light at the altar where I prayed Jesus washed my sins away and oh how sweet is the sound I once was lost but now I'm found God's amazing grace still amazes me Dylan, won't you stand up one more time and tell us what happened to you this week? I was actually just about to stand up because all this stuff is running crazy right now. Yeah, amen. I had a thought in my head the other day. I was reading my Bible. Well, that's good. And the Bible says that Jesus called the Lord Jesus Christ. Yeah. And I was thinking about that and I was thinking, you know, I'm not Yep, man. Sinner, and doesn't deserve nothing. You're right. But he's given me everything. He's given me a beautiful fiance. This church, if you would ask me a year ago where I thought it would have been, it definitely wasn't sitting here in church on a Sunday night. Yeah, amen. 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 Brother Tim, that song that Miss Carol just sang, I was talking to both the foresters, daughter today, and uh, you know, he was only saved a year ago. And uh, just died the other day. But she said to Rob Hill Ford, he died just a few minutes before he got up. He said he looked, he saw his wife, he said, Ronnie. Oh. And, and he looked and he said he saw his dog. Yeah. Big dog. And he saw somebody else. I can't remember all words. He said, Is that God? He said, God. He said, I'm in heaven. Yeah, amen. So it just amen. Goes Amen. 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 Yeah. Amen, Miss Lynn. Amen. Oh, yeah. Right. <laughs> oh, yeah. Amen. I'm glad he saved me. Amen. Amen. Sure. Yeah. Thursday, my 
You better believe it. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Hey, God knows you needed a save husband. Amen. Well, you better praise him for that the rest of your life. <clears throat> hey, man. Well, I have to stand up and say that this past week, I had a text from my brother, and I was not happy with what he said, but then I started thinking about it, and I said, if it weren't for my brother, I wouldn't have gotten this text. <laughs> and my co-worker was sitting there, and I was trying to <laughs> Amen. Yeah, I was waiting on you, brother. I was. Hit me. I agree with that. I do agree with that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I said, if they hope for him, they hope for <laughs> 
They ain't got mine neither, brother. I'm with you. <laughs> That's my baby right there. Yeah. She said under my preaching, I'm going to look out my for about four or five years. And I love you. Amen. Amen. Yeah, tell her. Amen. Tell her. Stay on, brother. You're right. You're right. That's right. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Me too. Amen. Hit man. Yeah. 
Yes, sir. Me too. He's still worth it. Oh, Lord, is he good. Amen. Hey, you were right. Till the last breath. Amen. Amen. Thank you, brother. Amen. We've been praying for you. He's going to need a whole lot more prayer. Yeah. All right. Amen. Amen. That's true. Going to see mom and daddy, ain't you? been good to us, Paul. Yeah, Amen. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Exactly right. Amen. So true. So true. Thank God for my mom and my daddy. Ben Nathan. Can I just read a scripture to you tonight? One I was going to preach on. We ain't. I want to read a scripture and then say a few things. I'll be done. And I promise you it won't be five minutes. Turn your Bible to 1 Peter chapter. Chapter 3. <clears throat> verse 14. From verse 
from verse 14 of 1 Peter chapter 3, all of chapter 4 is talking about suffering. Job said in, verse, in chapter 5, man is born unto trouble. Then he turned around and said in Job 15, that man that is born of woman is a few days full of trouble. Peter's over here and he's talking to the saints and he's talking about suffering. Chapter 4, he gets in there, he said, Beloved, think it not strange concerning the fiery trial, which is to try you as though some strange thing happened to you. Talking about suffering. And he says this in chapter 3 and verse 14. But, and if ye suffer for righteous sake, I'm telling you, I'll be honest with you, I don't have this part down all the time. Happy are ye. And be not afraid of their terror, neither be troubled. Verse 15 is what I was going to preach on. But sanctify. <clears throat> but sanctify the Lord God in your hearts. In other words, let Him be Lord. Yeah. Over you. Lordship, that's what it's saying. In your hearts, and then look at this. And be ready always to give an answer to every man that asketh you a reason of the hope yes. that, is, that is in you with meekness and fear. I don't care what you're going through. I don't care what you're suffering. I don't care the hurts, the pains. I don't care the storm, the life, the kickdowns, the beat ups, the doubts, the fears. There ought to be some hope inside of you. Amen. Amen. That's exactly right. Amen. I agree with that brother said, and I'm thankful for his testimony. He preached my sermon. Yep. I don't care death nor life. No height, no depth, nor width. Nothing can separate you from the love of God. That ought to be your hope. That ought to be part of your hope. We was going to have a long sermon tonight. I had 17 things that we got hope in. I was going to spend at least 30 minutes on each one. Listen, every one of us has got something if we think about, if we mope on long enough, it'll steal every joy, it'll rob everything that the Lord has put in us that quick. Or you can sit there and think on the good things of God to where somebody, this is Bible, that verse, to where some man will walk up to you and say, what's so hopeful about you? Yeah. And then you're supposed to go, well, let me tell you. How can a man stand and brag on the Lord after just saying goodbye? Yeah. Come on. You think it might be because he's going to say hello in a little while? Hey. This week, I don't care what you're going to face. Brother Tommy, it might be hard. But there ought to be some hope inside of you that is anchored to Jesus Christ. There ought to be some hope inside you that is grounded, settled, set in to where no matter what comes, and it robs you of some of that, there ought to be some hope there that somebody ought to walk up and say, Brother Tommy, what you got that I don't have? If you ain't got that hope, you can have it. 
Just like Brother Dylan got it on Thursday night. Just like I got it on Sunday morning. Just like Aiden got it on a Thursday night. You can get it too. I am fully persuaded. Just like Brother Billy Graham said, that most of the church is lost. And they're riding on a feeling instead of obeying God from the heart. They, they ask the Lord from the head, but never from the heart. And you can get saved, right? But this other thing I want to say, if you lost all that hope that God's poured in you, you ain't got no smile, no joy, nothing's anchored you in to where you can go through all the pain and the discouragements and the hurts and go, let me tell you about Jesus. There's a deeper problem than just that. Amen. I thank you for being here tonight. This week, this week, put a smile on. Preacher, I don't feel like it. I don't care. That which is in you deserves a smile. Yes. Yes. Get a hand raise. That thing that that man that's living inside of you and made you that new man deserves a raised hand. Yes. Get an amen on your tongue. Get a praise on your lips. I don't feel like it. I don't care. God deserves praise. God deserves worship. Well, you don't know what I've been through. I don't need to. Sanctify the Lord in your heart. Make Him the Lord over your life. And then be ready always always to give an answer to every man that asketh you where you got saved, how you got saved, why you're so happy, why God's doing it, what's got you smiling so big, what's got you walking with a skip in your step, what's got you just different than everybody else I come along. Well, let me tell you. Amen. Would you please stand? I thank you for every testimony. We ought to come itching, ready, excited about getting to brag on God. Boy, if that preacher even shuts up two seconds, I'm going to stand up and praise the Lord. You ought to be thankful that you got an altar to kneel at. You ought to be thankful you got a song to sing. You You ought to be thankful you got a Bible to tote. Hey, you ought to be thankful that the Holy Ghost is indwelling you. You ought to be thankful that you're not alone in this thing. The yeah, man. There might be some lady calling you in your loneliness eye and saying, how are you doing? Thank you, Miss Gloria. Don't never quit. God's good. Yes. Amen. Lord, tonight we praise you for being who you are. Lord, before you even created us, we praise you for who you are. Lord, before you ever showed your first grace on man, we praise you for being truthful and holy. Lord, we thank you for being everything that you are. Lord, we thank you we got somebody, a God, that we can trust. We can rest our cares on. We can depend on nothing but truth, Lord. We thank you for being Lord. Help us, Lord, to keep you lordship over our lives that we might have and retain that hope that's within us. God, I pray that you'd bless this week. Help us, Lord, to be a witness to this lost and dying world. Lord, help us to tell the world about how good you are. Lord, it's good to hear about somebody being saved. Lord, one more, please, one more. Save one more. Lord, I pray that you would help me be the one that leads it. Thank you for giving Aiden that first one. Lord, help it to 
make him hunger and thirst after number two. God, I pray that you'd give us a church that cares about the lost, cares about you, cares about everything that you're doing. Lord, if, if, if nothing else happens this week, please come on home. Come get us. Come back and get us out of this world. Thank you, Lord, for what you've done. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. See y'all Wednesday night. Yes. Okay, I got I got their name. All right. Amen. Y'all pray for Carlton Durham. See y'all Wednesday.